guys and welcome back to our channel. So for the, our virtual homeschool co-op, the question of the week is, do you homeschool? And the answer is yes and no. And the reason I say that is because since we officially started homeschooling this past year, I have not attended a homeschool convention. However, I have attended a homeschool convention in the past. Um, because that's just the way I roll. Um, when our daughter was about one years old, I went to a convention here in Illinois and it was a type that there was uh, the vendors that come out um, and I went there and um, I wanted to see, I'm the kind of person that I need to see the book, textbooks. I wanted to be able to flip through them, pour over them, hold them in my hand, feel them, smell them. I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of a hands-on kind of mom so I was like I'll do this I'll go and check what see what they have and I was very impressed I was very happy um so the reason I say that, and then you know I decided to put the kids in school so I put homeschooling on the back burner but going back to now that we are actually homeschooling um I would definitely go back to a homeschool convention because there is a lot um a lot of resources um like I said, I'm the type of person that I wanted to like look through the curriculum and they do all the vendors come out. Um, so I, you could see, you know, every uh, Becca, my father's world. Um, so that day that I went, um, the thing about it is I did not come prepared. Um, so you actually do have to do your homework and come prepared. Um, the one thing I did was I parked really far away. Um, I got there late and I parked across the parking lot, walked all the way in and now looking back in hindsight if I were to ever if I were to go when I go back I should say um, I definitely need to come prepared and I mean with uh, something the books are heavy if you're gonna go in with the mindset of I'm gonna pick up a few books they're actually very heavy and for you to be lugging them around in your hands they get you know after a while they get heavier and heavier and then to walk all the way back to the car to just put them in the car and then walk all the way back I would definitely take a stroller. If you're by yourself, take a stroller. I always have one in my car. I would have taken my stroller and just loaded it up and not worried about it. Or, you know, when you go take your husband or take older kids that could help you out. Because, yeah, that's one thing. That's tip number one. Definitely come prepared in, in form of, in the in the sense of bring something to carry all the curriculums that you pick up. Because there's a lot of stuff. So going back to the homeschool convention, I just loved it because there was like a section with art and anything and everything about art. There was art pencils, uh, you know, the sketch pads, like everything. They had, they had, they were having sales, and you know, at that time I was still in the. I don't know if I'm gonna homeschool. I don't know if I'm gonna send them to school. But even that section alone, I found a lot of stuff that I was like, oh, I will stock. I want to stock up. I want to buy this for Lean. I want to buy that and have it put away in the storage closet for her. Um, so yeah, you actually, you might just go in with, I, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to look at one or two things, but you do end up buying stuff. Like when you go to Target, you only go in for one thing and you come out with a hundred dollar bill. How does that happen? So that's one thing. The second thing is come prepared in the form of wearing gym shoes. Uh, I wore gym shoes, thank God. Um, but you do a lot of walking. The one we went to, the convention, the one I went to, sorry, the convention was huge. I did a lot of walking back and forth, back and forth. And if I had to walk back to the car to drop off stuff, I, yeah, you definitely need to come wear comfortable shoes, um, bring a bottle of water. So I did those two things. Um, and so, yeah, that day, just want to show you the day I went randomly and I picked up this book it looked interesting i was thinking you know i'll teach her how to read so i picked up the origin the ordinary parents guide to teaching reading and then i also picked up um this one they had like the, the there was a huge p group of people around this table and i was like what's this all about and the guy like had the the blocks that it comes with and it was matthew c and he was teaching he was explaining the concept to me saying that kids are visual and i'm like hey i'm a visual the kids are visual learners and i'm like hey i am too and he was like you teach kids to uh two blocks you know a two unit block plus a two unit block equals four and they're able to see it and understand it so i was like oh that is so cool so me being the way i am i was like well, you know our um homeschooling um is it kind of like eclectic? I was like, oh, I'll just pick up the instruction manual. I'll pick and choose problems from it. And, you know, we'll go from there. 
definitely need I needed a workbook it just makes life easier and now that this year that we had started homeschooling I actually ended up using the one I picked up which is gamma um, I just ordered the workbooks and I've just been you know using that tearing it out and giving it to the kids when we do math um, so yes definitely homeschool going to a homeschool convention is a definitely I would go to a homeschool convention um, I recommend that you guys go and check it out it's a fun day um, it's very exhausting by the time I came back home that afternoon I was ready for a nap so be prepared for that too but yeah um, that's about it um, if you guys have any other questions or let me ask you do you go to homeschool convention and what's your favorite part comment down below what is your favorite part of homeschooling conventions if you go and please like subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye